Welcome back to Just Ladies. I am Angie Mla and today I have Violet who is the founder of Networking in Hills and she's talking to us about Networking in Hills. So now, I want us to talk about what to wear when you're coming for Networking in Hills. Because every girl, we always know the first thing when you're told to go for anything is like, where is it? Who's going to be there? What do I wear? You know, so you, and it's a three hour. So is it like a cocktail? Do I have to wear like short heels, high heels? Like what kind of? attire is one supposed to wear for the event we encourage you to come out looking fabulous but also be very comfortable okay yes so if you're coming from work and you're coming for the event you might decide to change and get a change of clothes i don't know yeah but normally you find that people dress um wear clothes that can transition into the evening mm -hmm. yeah and mostly they carry their heels in the back of the cars <laughs> or in a small bag mm -hmm. and then just wear them because the place is carpeted and comfortable yeah yes Okay, so um, out of all the events that you've planned, mm -hmm. tell us your most successful one, the one that was just, you know, it was amazing from the beginning to the end. I don't say all. No, I can't quite say <laughs> I have had such one event mm -hmm. because out of all the events, we have a success. This area was successful. This wasn't too successful. This was successful. This wasn't too successful. Mm -hmm. um, the events have been good in their own ways. Mm -hmm. They've been wonderful. Mm -hmm. But I can't quite say I have enjoyed 100% success. Mm -hmm. What I can say is that I have seen improvements along mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of... Um, like it just became like a machine it's able to just run on its own which is amazing mm -hmm. yes but for me i'd say one of the events that really really shocked me i had an event two years ago two years ago mm -hmm. actually had more than 300 guests coming in and i'd only planned for 100 so wow. it was a logistical nightmare in that way <laughs> but for people who didn't know they thought oh my this is so awesome all these people mm -hmm. have turned up mm -hmm. but then now with time we're able to manage the numbers and mm -hmm. it's fine so What's the highest number you've ever had? There's only 320. Wow. Yes. How do you manage all those people? In like I manner? said, <laughs> and you remember my, my background mm -hmm. is not in event planning. Mm -hmm. So I was really terrified. Oh, no. Thank God I had event planners around me. <laughs> I had uh, an able uh, team and even cooperation from the hotel where I was holding it. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was contained. Mm -hmm. By yeah. that time, my eyes were popping out. I was like... <gasps> You know, it's like you have a party at home and you're thinking it's only 10 of your friends who are coming. And then, and then they all decide to come with a friend who's coming with another friend. Yes. And then you're like, okay, yes. this is the X project. Yes, and you're supposed <laughs> to have a good time. Yeah. You're supposed to have a good time. Yeah. And you can't tell people, you guys are too many, don't come in. No, 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 everyone is welcome. Mm. So it's for you then to figure out uh, how to fit them. Who's going to sit where. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know I understand that every, um, if every what is it called? Oh my gosh. Every... Okay, brain has frozen there. Hello, people. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I know is that every event that you do, every network, networking hills mm -hmm. has a theme. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how do you come up with those themes? Because they're all lovely. They're all inspiring. So how do you come up with a theme? I guess I just have been looking around, mm -hmm. like what's happening um, in the world of women. Yeah. I do. I read a lot on women. I do a lot of research from government to non-government to private sector, mm -hmm. all those things. And I kind of tend to see what's happening and then pick a theme out of that. Because mm -hmm. remember, it has to be evergreen, it has to be fresh, it has to be um, interesting, and it has to be something relatable as well. Okay. So for the upcoming event, we're calling it Women on the Rise. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing a lot of women getting into places where they have never been. Yeah. We're even seeing, I mean, we're getting ready to have a woman president for America. I think that's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. yes. So they are like really, they've not even shattered the glass ceiling as such. They're actually breaking away the whole stratosphere. So mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. Oh, okay. Yes. Who, who, who's going to be the speaker for the we have, Women in the Rise? She's called Modoni Washira. Mm -hmm. She's a corporate affairs manager um, at Imperial Bank. Mm -hmm. um, the other speaker hasn't yet confirmed because she travels a lot. Mm -hmm. She's the CEO of the brand board Kenya, okay. uh, Mary Kimonya. Oh, wow. But again, because of her tight schedule, I wouldn't want to advertise her as coming mm. until she's actually confirmed. Oh, okay. Yes. So how do you decide which speaker comes to talk to that particular thing? I want to say that we've been lucky, stroke blessed. Mm -hmm. We always have people calling and saying, hey, I'd like to. Oh, I'd like wow, to. Yes. Amazing. So it's never been quite yeah. a, a hard thing. Uh, when they don't turn up, it's because of things they can't help. Yeah. Like, so all what do you stuck do when in that happens? <gasps> <gasps> do you get the mic? I'm like, okay, now I'm going to talk to all of you. What do you do? 
Well, I've had speakers not turning up, okay, okay? like or cancelling or mm -hmm. you know letting you know at the very last minute they won't make it. Mm -hmm. And thank God, I built a reservoir of goodwill mm -hmm. along the way, so mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. Yeah. So it's easy then to tap into these networks of people I've met through networking in Hills and tell mm -hmm. them, hey, uh, Angela, I had an, uh, a speaker for this particular event mm -hmm. and she's not able to make it, this and this and this has happened, so are you able to step in? And they're only too glad mm -hmm. because they've had a good uh, yeah. experience with me and with the event. Mm -hmm. They've, they're only too glad because they also want to share mm -hmm. out of the abundance of their knowledge. Wow. So we still end up having a good time. We still mm -hmm. end up delivering the value in terms mm -hmm. of knowledge and information yeah. on the theme that we had planned. So tell me, what's the downfall that you, of actually planning networking in Hills? Like what can you say is the one thing that, you know? Um, networking in Hills has, big, um, has its own challenges, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of times you find that there's, mm -hmm. uh, when you have a misunderstanding or mm -hmm. situations are taken out of context, and then, you know, we have all these blogs going around, and sometimes you just wonder, do I, do I come out and say something? Do I leave it? Do I let it be? Do I just have it resolved, as it were? Um, sometimes you find that because the brand the brand is separate from me, mm -hmm. but people will also associate me with the brand. So yeah. sometimes I find that I'm not allowed to just be, yeah. because then it impacts on but, the brand, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. Like if you, for example, I love Richard Branson, so I'll use his name here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you find that Richard Branson is doing, uh, he's just being human, mm -hmm. then it all impacts on the Virgin brand. brand so you're true. almost not allowed to live, mm -hmm. but with time I hope I can achieve that Separation. separation so then mm -hmm. i can chill and have a good time and just be <laughs> that and the not gonna happen. i know it's a fantasy because yeah. i've had um i've had situations where things were taken out of context mm -hmm. so badly and people would say the sea of networking in hills okay <sighs> okay yes you just have to breathe in breathe yes. out yes in. and you know and you wonder how do i do? but thank god again the goodwill i have I have um, managed to build up a good yeah. reserve of goodwill. Mm -hmm. People who are willing to come to my side and, uh, and, and you know, help me out of situations mm -hmm. and tell me, you don't have to do anything about this. Just mm -hmm. relax, let it blow. Something else will come up. You'll soon be forgotten. Let's move on. And yeah. I have mentors and friends and people who work with me, who pray with me, who reach out to me, who write to me and encourage me. And I think that has been then the, the sweetening side of things mm -hmm. because it can't all be... Yeah, daisies and roses. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and then when it's like that, it's not even fun. It's not challenging. It's like <laughs> no, but it's life. not funny when the beast thing happens. You know, it yeah. is not funny. But you remember that. But it makes that you stronger. Definitely. What yeah. doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That is always my principle. Definitely, a uh, running networking in hills has made me grow up. Yeah, I've really, really learned to just take things in my stride. Mm. Uh, bad things have happened. Debt has happened. Um, I've been harassed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have been uh, put in situations which are not very good for my name or even for the brand. Uh, and you realize that the first thing you want to do is not to uh, run up and start playing to the public gallery because mm -hmm. at the end of the day you still remain the fool. Mm -hmm. uh, you realize that you just need to go put your house in order and just keep moving because you know what you're doing mm -hmm. and the people who believe in you actually do know what it is you're doing mm -hmm. and then it makes it a bit easier to just sail on, you know, mm -hmm. just live leave uh, whatever it is that has happened behind you. It's like a, yeah. an accident along the way. Mm. So once that's cleaned up, do you dwell there? No, you, no, just, you, you, just, keep you just keep going, just keep going. And and also it has taught me mm. to then be the bigger person and, you know, just to rise above the fray as hard as it is. Because yeah. a human thing to do is then to be petty. <laughs> yes. And to start <laughs> then doing counter, you know, yeah. I didn't do this. In fact, it's Angie who said this because yes. she's jealous or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know, then that takes away from yeah, takes away from really what it is I want to achieve. I mm -hmm. mean, we're going places and I know you're going places. Yes. That's why you're here, girl. <laughs> and you. we're going to take another break okay. as usual. <laughs> <laughs> this is just ladies. And please stay tuned because we're coming more with more of Violet as now we get to know her and not more of Networking in Hills. So stay awesome. tuned. <laughs> Okay, now, ladies, yeah. if you know you bad, yeah. 